everyone my name is Abhishek Jain and topic for today's video is the another most common and a frequently faced or thrown error by docker and that error is no space left on a device okay so first we're gonna see how we can reproduce that I have already reproduced it so that I can quickly jump to how we can resolve it so let's let me quickly show you that you can see I just run one command where I'm just trying to build one particular image, right? And I can, I just get into this error. No space left on the device, right? And similarly, I can show you, I was trying to run one of the Docker container and I'm getting this no space left on device, right? And let me uh, quickly see what all uh, processes are being run. Yes, yep. So let me quickly kill this not kill this I mean because I want to show you something uh, so we have one command docker system df okay let me quickly docker system df this is the command which tells us you know how many how much memory we can reclaim right and you can see there are four types images containers local volumes and build cache right so this docker system df it's pretty much same command which we have in a Linux where we use df command to see how much how much resource how much memory is being used by a different different you know the uh, file systems right so uh, what we're gonna do is how we can reclaim this uh, uh, memory to reclaim this memory we have a command docker system prune right and if I run this command you can see I'm getting a warning which says that this will remove all stopped containers all networks not used by at least one container all dangling images and all build cache but I don't want to do it for now because I want to show you the another command so the same command but this time I'm gonna use one option which is minus a what it does is let's see so the warning is again the first warning is same the second warning is same but third warning is little bit deeper right as compared to the without minus a option Without minus A, it will only remove the dangling images. But if you put a minus A, all images without at least one container associated to them, right? So there can be, uh, because uh, in real time scenario, there can be a possibility that you have some images which you run periodically, right? So there is a high probability that you you have some images currently there is no container associated with that but in in due to uh, due to you know to run those containers periodically uh, you need that image in future and you don't want to clean that up so in that scenario you will not be using minus a right so you will be heavily using the docker system prune because that would clean your caches your dangling images you know uh, your network related stuff then all these stop containers right so that is what we want so I don't want to remove this as well so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use this command prune okay let's see what it does this time I'm gonna give y because I want to clean that now it's reclaimed space 13.96 okay let's quickly run the command docker system df now you can see uh, earlier we have 1.047 GB which we can reclaim but here if you will see for the container there is no memory reclaimable right so we have already reclaimed all the 13.96 and let's quickly see whether there was any impact on the running container so that's you know there is no impact on the running container so it only you know cleaned up you know the cache you know the images which are not being used by any running container since I have used without minus a so the image which are not currently associated with the running container but those are also not being deleted here right and there are some other command as well which individually cleans that up like if you want to delete if you want to clean the volumes there is a command if you want to delete the images or the containers there is a separate command and that we're gonna cover maybe in you know upcoming upcoming videos or if you really need to know how you can implicitly uh, explicitly uh, you know to clean the images dangling images containers all the volumes please feel free to put that in a comment and then i would try to come up with the another video where i can explain how can you individually 
clean up those uh, like images, containers and the volumes and all the stuff. So uh, that's it from my side for this particular video. And I think this prune command is something which you can utilize, but you have to be very uh, careful when, when you want to use with minus A when you don't want to use with a minus A option, right? So hopefully uh, you enjoyed my video. And if you really like this video, please feel free to, please uh, don't forget to subscribe it. And if you know that somebody can get some kind of help by watching this video, please follow, please uh, for, forward this link to those guys as well, or your friends or your groups. And that would be the great help for me uh, thanks for watching this and stay tuned for my upcoming videos and keep learning and as always bye for now